got another neat little revolver or pistol review for you this afternoon. This is the Ruger Single 10, recently a new release. I'll put new in quotations there because many, many years ago in the mid 20th century, Ruger released the Single 6. And the Single 6 became a very popular uh, kind of plinker, cowboy action shooter, sidearm of the outdoorsman because it was in an ever uh, reliable revolver platform, but it was also kind of the spitting image, a smaller version, spitting image of a Colt 45. The cool thing was is it shot 22 rimfire. Now the original one shot 22 rimfire and you could get a 22 mag cylinder with it also. So you could shoot just the, the regular long rifle or the shorts or, or the long uh, and then you could also pop that, that magnum cylinder in and you could shoot 22 mag out of it. Which is very sweet. Added some more pop to it. Uh, a lot of guys like these still to run trap lines. Even even some for squirrel hunting and, and a lot for the cowboy shooting. I don't have a holster, so I'm holding it here looking like a dummy. But this single, uh, this is the single 10, which is a newer release adaptation type design to the Ruger single 6. Now, why is it called the single 10? Let's think. It holds 10 rounds in the cylinder. So instead of 6 shots in one cylinder, it holds 10. 9 shot. 22 revolvers are not that uncommon, but 10 shots are a little bit more uncommon. So Ruger's given a lot of firepower in this little guy here. One thing I would love to see, I haven't yet, and I highly doubt we will, I'll tell you why in a second. One thing I'd love to see is a 22 Magnum cylinder available for the single 10, giving you 10 shots of 22 mag. The problem with that is uh, that you're dealing with higher pressures, uh, higher load pressures, and by putting 10 shots on one cylinder, you're making that that wall, that stainless steel wall between each of those chambers thinner. So there could be some strength issues with that. I don't know for sure. I'm not a gunsmith. I don't build guns. I just like to shoot them and tell you about them. So we're going to shoot the single 10. We're going to put all kinds of ammo through it. We're going to see what kind of accuracy we get. And as you can see, I'm flying with an injured wing. So I'm going to try shooting off the bench uh, with the strong hand here, see how we do. This uh, is kind of messing me up a little bit. So. I might even take it off. Don't tell the doctor, but I might even take it off. Actually, I don't even need it. I just wear it for sympathy, you know, so you guys care about me personally and not just House of Guns. So, you know, I'm really starting to feel left out. Anyway, I'll shut up. We're going to shoot this bad boy and see what it can do. Folks, regardless of the gun, I want to stress the importance of using uh, safety gear, eye protection, ear protection. You know, make sure you're going to every effort, to, uh, especially when shooting a new gun, first time to you. That, uh, that you're going to every effort to make sure that you're covering all your bases safety wise. So we're going to, uh, we're going to see how we do here. And uh, we just got a target about 15 yards away and we're going to put 10 through it. This is just cheap Remington gold bullet. Single action. going to be the type of cylinder that pops out and you just push them all out like modern center fire cylinders. Uh, this is like a typical Colt that you have to unload individually, turn it, push them out, turn. I missed that, so I have to come back. Missed another one. Brand new gun, don't know it yet, but you can get the hang of it pretty fast. And I just get two again there like a genius. So we're going to stop the recording, shoot some more, we'll shoot some fast ones, and we'll check accuracy too. Just kidding. It wouldn't even be two-handed. That was really stupid looking. Oh well. Modern day cowboy, what do I know? Alright, we got some more of these Remington uh, dots. I'm just going to see um, one-handed. I'm just going to pull and shoot one-handed and uh, see how it looks, see how it feels. I'm not typically a revolver guy or even a cowboy shooter, but I are, always wish that I was. Uh, I blame my parents that I was born in the wrong era, so it's their fault. Uh, but the uh, one thing I do want to speak on real quick is the quality of the trigger. This is what you would call a single action trigger. 
So the reason it's called a single action is because uh, you cannot just pull the trigger and shoot. You have to cock the hammer before you actually pull the trigger. The difficult side of that is, is that it makes it a little slow without practice. You know, you've seen the cowboys on TV as they hold the trigger down and just slam fire the hammer over and over. That makes it super fast, less accurate, blah, 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 you understand. A double action trigger, you can actually pull it and it cocks the hammer and releases it to fire at the same time. But this single action trigger is fantastic. There's no play, it's a good clean break, it's very crisp. My glasses are fogging, which is making me get distracted and now my earmuffs made me look like Mickey Mouse, so I've become even more distracted. So thank you again for distracting me, people. Uh, all right, let's see what it can do just standing. I think I'm better like this than off the bench, you guys. I hope that looks cool, because it feels cool. There it was. Very, very cool. It's getting dirty, uh, but that's a neat shooter, especially just like that. All right, let's do some more. We'll try shooting some different ways so cowboy shooters, you guys can see someone impersonating you very badly, all right? Did you see that? It doesn't take much either, just hold it down. Uh, I would call that slam firing. I don't know the typical cowboy term for that, but you'll see it in movies where guys just want to spray. So they're going to hold down the trigger and then you just rake the palm of your hand across that hammer spur to where it catches that jimping there. And you just hold the trigger down and you're popping it. And uh, essentially you're holding the trigger and then you're slamming the hammer. That's what it would be on a pump shotgun. I'm not super familiar with the, the cowboy world, but where you just hold it and you're just going, and uh, I think I can do it a little faster, so I'm gonna try that try that again and see. I if think you shot about a 25 foot group. It was a 25 foot group, but every every uh, you know sumo sized person within that you area got, was- You got the whole posse. They were eliminated, yeah, cool. Now it's apparent uh, from the owner of this, the last time he said that it doesn't really like CCI Mini Mag, which is expensive 22 ammo if you're familiar with that. Uh, typically you would think that that would mean that the gun would like it better and shoot better. This one apparently likes Remington Golden Bullet, which is cheap. You buy it by the bulk. We're at 10 yards. I'm going to shoot it at a target all by itself. Then, then we're going to walk down and have a look and see how accurate that actually is. Like we're a little right. The last one, I believe. Yep. All right, let's have a look and see what our accuracy looks like. For the first time with the Remington Gold Bullet, we were all over the place on this side just uh, shooting off the bench was the first time I had shot it and then this time you can see they're all right in here so you know rack up all size there softball size uh, if we put this in there but not too shabby uh, it's a neat shooter the trigger is awesome there's zero recoil if you were looking to get a kid into shooting a, a handgun revolver pistol whatever the sights are high visibility fiber optic sights so they're not all, all uh, old steel sights like you would see on the old ones. But it's a beautiful piece, beautiful rosewood grips, all stainless throughout, feels fantastic in the hand, good balance. Overall, it's, uh, it's another neat piece from Ruger. This is Ebbs from House of Guns. Happy shooting, everyone.